four-day lockdown in two barangays and two hotels in Santa Cruz, Manila is now underway. To give us the latest situation on the ground, we have Justine Punsalang. She's reporting to us live from Manila. Justine, good morning. Uh, how is the first few hours of lockdown there and were there any violators apprehended? Charles, the policemen manning the only entry and exit points of Barangay 351 here in Santa Cruz, Manila, just switched after their first six hours of duty. Although policemen are supposed render 12 hours of duty. Manila Police District Director Brigadier General Leo Francisco explained that he shorted the uh, duties, the field duties of the policemen so that uh, they can perform their duties efficiently. At the stroke of midnight, a motorcycle riding policemen from Santa Cruz Police Station entered Barangay 351 and started roving to make sure all residents are abiding by the lockdown protocols. Besides roving policemen, each corner of the barangay is also manned by both police and barangay officials. Authorities have also already prepared the temporary detention area for lockdown violators. Police even already set up a mugshot station to aid their plan to file cases against violators. Several minutes past midnight, Manila Police District Director Police Brigadier General Leo Francisco arrived at Barangay 351 to conduct an inspection of his personnel. He was impressed by the organization as well as the cooperation of the barangay. Besides uniformed personnel manually manning the streets, barangay officials also monitored their CCTVs to make sure that all bases are covered. Francisco then went to the primary commercial barangay 725, primarily commercial barangay 725, where a man was flagged down. But the man explained and showed proof that he was neither a resident nor did he visit the lockdown area. He said that he was just passing by on his way home after assisting his sick girlfriend. While Francisco was satisfied with his explanation, he was not pleased upon seeing a limited number of policemen securing the one block area. He ordered the station commander of Malate Police to send more policemen to boost area security. But his displeasure mounted upon seeing that only four policemen were manning the two lockdown hotels. He explained each hotel should have at least 10 personnel manning the premises to keep the peace should there be any conflict inside the hotels like residents insisting to leave. Francisco immediately ordered the station commander of Ermita to relieve Remedios PCP commander for not implementing the agreed deployment. When back up police arrived, Francisco reminded, reminded them about their basic responsibilities during the lockdown. Charles, the government, the local government of Manila just dropped the food packs here in Barangay 351 to their Barangay Hall. The Barangay Hall will then later on distribute the food packs to each household door to door. There are around 2,000, more than 2,000 2000 households that will benefit from the, the uh, food packs in all three barangays. The food packs contain three kilos of rice, 16 canned goods, and eight sachets of instant coffee. So far here in Barangay 3, Five one. There are already three violators that are currently in the temporary detention facility of the barangay. Charles? Thank you. Justine Punsalang reporting live from Santa Cruz, Manila.